Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is the newest Dragon Ball game that will be coming hopefully within the next year or so. And with the recent trailers and features that have been shown for this game, the excitement for this game is at an all time high. Thankfully, we may have confirmation on when the next official trailer will be and basically the topic for it, so let's go ahead and talk about it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and we have some official V jump scans for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And although this is basically just covering a trailer that has already been released, we do also have some more upcoming confirmation on when or not necessarily when but what is the topic for the next dragon ball sparking zero trailer i'm not too i'm not entirely sure when it's going to be released all i know is that they have been making massive improvements for this game it's very rare for dragon ball games that when they release a trailer to hype up the fans they still find things to improve and touch up on even with the trailer and that is what we see a lot here with the v gym scans that they've been releasing but Anyways, shout out to Shonen Games on Twitter. I'll leave a link to him down in the description below so you guys can go check him out. But it says some highlights. We mentioned skill and energy rates. Sorry, Vegeta specializes in long range blasts. Adjust your strategy based on transformations. That's something we already know. I think strategies or not just strategies, but basically your combos and stuff like that change the more. And that's something that's going to be really, really exclusive to Sparking Zero because it, if your combos were to change in previous Dragon Ball games, that have been released more like xenovers right if your combos were to change or even in fighters it would basically be for a whole separate character but for sparking zero you're going to be able to transform into these characters so you're going to be able to have your entire combo change literally mid battle which is going to be absolutely insane but not combos i would more or less say let, let me take that back not combos but more or less your attack your attack system will change which is different compared to other previous dragon ball games but then last one is goku is great at melee and rushdown so it seems like vegeta is going to be more or less better with blasts right long range blast he's going to be more far away goku's going to be a lot more up close and personal with his melee and rushdown which makes sense considering the fact that goku has the kaioken and vegeta has never necessarily been too big on rush attacks he's more or less been like that guy that comes up with a lot of moves like the big bang attack the final explosion the final flash the gallic gun right goku uh necessarily only has probably like the spirit bomb and kamehameha so i guess it sort of makes sense but getting into these v jump scans okay i'm not sure i'm pretty sure it was shonen games who was the one that basically translated this but we're basically going to be looking at this it says overwhelming elite this is for vegeta's this is specifically for vegeta's v jump scan this right here says vegeta z scouter if you look here at the gallic gun like i'm gonna try to put a picture of originally in the first trailer that released in december what the Gallic gun, what the Gallic gun or what Vegeta looked like doing the Gallic gun back when the trailer released in December. And look at the way it looks now. They have made massive improvements, dude. Like it, it it's hard to say that they won't make any more improvements with the characters that were just shown with the Goku and with the recent Goku and Vegeta trailer. They will more than probably make more improvements regarding those trailers as well. So I don't know. That is just really cool to see how much, like, even after the trailers, they're still finding ways to improve the characters, improve the design, improve the graphics, and stuff like that. So that's really cool to see. It says give pressure to your opponent with repeated energy attacks or transform into a great ape and trample them additionally you can see you can use the skill that sent planet namics kui to his grave so i'm not gonna lie that may or may not confirm kui to be in the game and if kui is in the game then bro come on there ain't no way they're adding kui and they're not adding other important characters to the roster like there is absolutely no way but I'm not sure if this is confirming Kui or if it's not confirming Kui. I hope it confirms Kui because if it confirms a character as irrelevant as Kui, who was literally in the show for like two episodes, three episodes, then they will more than likely confirm a lot more characters that have a lot more meaning than that. Like, I would even argue that Yakan, when he is fighting Goku, has more freaking meaning than a freaking Kui, but... 
I don't know. It says Vegeta Z early. So this is Vegeta Z scouter. This is Vegeta Z early. It says normally you have key blasts in Super Saiyan form. Your fighting is your speciality. And you can also set off the superior level impact super movie big bang attack. So this is for Vegeta Z early. So this is basically the Vegeta that you will basically see. So Vegeta Z scouter is probably the same Vegeta that will also be in the Namek arc. Vegeta Z early. This part of the Vegeta here will probably start appearing in the Android saga or in the Android arc or the uh, the Cell arc. This is probably when because Vegeta doesn't do Big Bang Attack until then. So this is Vegeta Z early. Vegeta Z early will more than likely appear towards then. Majin Vegeta, just like in Budokai Tenkaichi 3, will definitely be his own separate distinct character. He will not fall under a Vegeta Z early or Vegeta Z end or even Vegeta super. He will not fall under any of those categories. But it says here, it says through skills, your energy store rate will raise. Keep blasting out strong attacks one after the other without worrying about your energy so i'm hoping uh, uh, this is sort of confirming it a little bit i'm hoping with the way you basically preserve your energy in the game it is the exact same way it is in budokai tenkaichi 3 where you just charge up and then your key bar will go all the way up until you get max key i'm not too sure if there will be a stamina bar like the way it is in xenovers i'm hoping not i'm hoping they just keep the fighting system very diverse the same way it is in budokai tenkaichi 3 because the the fight they, they they really don't need to change any of the fighting system because the fighting system was perfect at least that's what i think for budokai tenkaichi 3 maybe it would be better to like touch up on like a few things or add a new few combos but as far as i know it was perfect right like it didn't need that much changing to it and if they they, they need to be careful with how much they do change it because they if they change it too much it's not going to feel like budokai tenkaichi 3 at least not to me but that's just what i think says so here's a list of all the currently no vegetas you can control so it's vegeta z scouter which vegeta z scouter will also more than likely be able to turn into a great ape he will also have different costumes from the time he's progressed in the uh saiyan saga all the way to the namek saga then vegeta z early this is vegeta that is in the android saga he will be super vegeta and i'm not sure hopefully they do hopefully they add like a super saiyan grade 2 because vegeta does go super saiyan grade 2 after that and then vegeta z late and this is the vegeta that is in the boo saga and this vegeta will obviously have super saiyan and then super saiyan 2 and then it says vegeta super Grade 8 Vegeta, Super Vegeta, Majin Vegeta. Majin Vegeta, like I said, will be his own distinct character. As far as I know, I, I, I hope they don't put him under Vegeta late. It wouldn't necessarily make sense to me. But then it says, compared to Goku, long range key blasts are your speciality. Okay, we've already went through that. Okay, moving down, it says fans will also be surprised by this appearance. I am Super Vegeta, Super Vegeta, increase in muscle size, a power bulk. Okay, so it seems like we will get... A, a freaking Super Saiyan Grey 2 Vegeta. It says, increase aim in muscle size, a power bulking transformation in addition to famous lines. Recreate the cake delivered to sell. So that is really cool to see. We are going to be getting a base Super Saiyan Vegeta and we will also be getting a Super Vegeta. And then obviously Vegeta late uh, in Dragon Ball Z, which is in the Boo arc, will be Super Saiyan Vegeta and then Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. And then obviously Super Vegeta Super will be Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue. Not sure if we're going to get a Blue Evolution yet, but I don't see why we won't. I'm pretty sure we will. But then Grade 8 Vegeta, this Grade 8 form where Saiyans display their true potential, overwhelm the opponent through a form that makes the enemy feel helpless and destroy them with Super Fire Power. Crush the insects so i'm not too sure and it may just be the same because the, the super armor that the great apes had in the original budokai tenkaichi 3 was absolutely ridiculous so i'm not sure how hard the super armor will be when it comes to the great apes hopefully it's not that hard but great apes are meant to be untouchable but very very slow so you can back up and charge it. That's just the way I fought them growing up on the freaking game. <laughs> then we get into Vegeta Z late and then Vegeta Z super. So I said Vegeta Z super. Vegeta super, sorry. Vegeta Z late. Pressure your enemy by mixing a strategy of both energy attacks and super moves. And then it says, this is for Vegeta Super. It says, as an answer to your enemy, you can choose the formation which is better for your strategy. So 
they're all it's at least what it seems like they're all going to have separate combos okay vegeta z late vegeta super Veg all of them are going to have their own separate combos which is basically expected but what was not expected for me is that i'm not sure if when you transform your combos will change based off your transformations i know your moves will i'm not sure if your combos will as far as i know it doesn't seem like it will because that's not even that's not even what the case was in the original budokai tenkaichi unless you were going to a different variation of that specific character like goku and vegeta so i'm not entirely sure about that it does say the next theme is power versus speed we're going to talk a little bit about this after goku Goku's scan, but this says the next theme is power versus speed, who are the newly revealed playable characters. So it seems as if we are going to be getting new playable characters within the next trailer. But here's the thing. You know what? We're going to come back to this. Let's skip. We're going to go to Goku scan and we're going to see what that has. Okay, folks, here it is. Here is Goku scan. It says unyielding challenger, which is basically, I guess you can say what was, it was sort of Vegeta who was challenging, but whatever. <laughs> this is part one, rival edition, eternal rivals, Goku and Vegeta clash in the new title with flashy transformations and impressive social moves. You'll have an exciting battle. Typeset. Shonen game translation. D okay, there, there is the freaking. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. There is the credit. So I'll leave a link to both of them down in the description below, so you guys can check them out. But anyways, moving on. Goku Z early. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to be the same consistency as Vegeta, especially from what we've seen already. It's going to be Goku Z early. Goku Z early will just be base form Goku, and then obviously Goku with the Kaioken, who will, which will he'll be able to transform to. Uh, mid battle then goku z mid now this is basically fluffy hair goku basically this is fluffy hair goku this has already been confirmed this is nothing new it says with the new transformation you will be able to have a well-balanced battle you can also become blue kaioken okay so that, that's for goku super okay we're gonna come back to that then it says powered up by the previous part faster attack and defense battles are possible so goku's gonna be more on the offensive when it comes to his attacks vegeta is basically more uh, a key blast sort of character which is which is staying true to the original budokai tenkaichi but anyways this goku z late late goku it says goku z late so this is goku z mid goku z late it says late goku uses multiple kamehameha waves and in super saiyan 3 his power and technique is completely different from other forms now this has already been confirmed okay it, it was in the goku versus vegeta trailer where it was already confirmed where we goku super saiyan 3 will be having a dragon fist for his ultimate okay so that is what his ultimate will be he will also obviously have like the basic kamehameha but dragon fist is in fact confirmed for goku super saiyan 3 the same way it was in budokai tenkaichi 3 does that also confirm a wrath of the dragons characters like harutagon and stuff like that i don't know we're just gonna have to see or maybe even a tapion we're just gonna have to see i'm not too sure about that going up here it says super power beyond god this is goku super he's great with melee combat i think we read this no no, no we did it. it says he's great with melee combat especially chasing an additional strengthen yourself with kaioken and overwhelm your opponent so seems like kaioken is not gonna be his its own distinct character and rather it's going to basically be an addition to goku super saiyan blue within the game so there will probably be a move where goku will be able to use kaioken and stack it on his super saiyan blue very similar to what xenovers does but also it says with the new transformation you will be able to have a well-balanced battle you can also become blue kaioken so Blue Kaioken will probably just be an add-on to what Super Saiyan Blue is going to be for Goku. It says, here's a list of the currently known Gokus you can control. Goku Z Early, Goku Z Mid, Goku Z Late, and then Goku Super. Strengthen yourself with the transformation and Kaioken and fight head-on. Not only that, but he's also good at tricky tactics involving instant transmission. Pay attention to Kamehameha which gets stronger through transformation so again that is absolutely sick kamehameha will be basically be getting a buff the stronger you become the, the more transformations that you go through which is actually really freaking cool that is i don't i'm not i don't remember don't flame me in the comments for not remembering this but i don't know if that was also the same case in budokai tenkaichi 3 it may have been but i just 
I just haven't realized it myself. <laughs> but it makes the dynamic of the game a lot more real and a lot more consistent. And it follows the anime very, very well. So that is also a very, very good sign. Okay, going back to the next theme is power versus speed. So power versus speed. Now, obviously, the first theme was very, very, like, obvious. Goku versus Vegeta. It's going to be a trailer that is about Goku versus Vegeta. In terms of this one power versus speed i have absolutely no idea what that means like that that detail alone is so broad that it, it sort of doesn't make any sense as to why it just doesn't i don't know like is power versus speed and it's also saying that they're going to be revealing new playable characters so it's sort of really really hard to say because i'm not sure what characters that they are going to be revealing that will replicate power versus speed I'm maybe it's if I had to guess this is just my assumption I would guess that power versus speed is more or less referring to maybe talking more about the entire Dragon Ball Z story altogether they are definitely going to be revealing characters that have to do a lot with power and speed but I'm not too sure what they would be revealing with that though. That that is so broad and undetailed that it can literally be anything. It literally could be anything. With the Goku and Vegeta one, it was so plainly obvious that it was Goku versus Vegeta and they were going to be featuring Goku versus Vegeta. For this one, it is a completely different story though. There is so many characters that have to do with power versus speed that it is ridiculously hard to assume or speculate what that is going to lead to, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think is going to be the next trailer. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and speculations on that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hey, it's me, Goku. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit a like and subscribe button so you can be updated for all the new content PBL Gaming makes. See ya.